Good morning, thank you for joining me on a breezy morning out in my garden with black clouds wending their way here far too quickly. The title of this piece is Out for Nout. Um, good old North of England saying where, which means basically getting something for nothing. Okay, you may have paid out initially for something. Oh, excuse the mucky hands, I've been getting compost. Um, but at this point, you have no monetary outlet, just a bit of your time. And I don't know, but as a child, I don't know if you were like this, as a child, I used to take the tops of carrots, put them on a saucer of water and watch them sprout. And in fact, these days I, I do similar with garlic. I'll grow my own garlic and ginger, but I haven't got either on the go at present. So what I'm going to do this morning is just show you some of the things that I have on the go. I've just collected some seeds, some seed pods from my sweet peas that <clears throat> I allowed to go to pods rather than picking them. What I do with these, simply remove them from the pods into a little dish. <laughs> now the pigeons are joining in as well as the chimes now. Okay. Um, into a little dish and let them dry out then put them in a container ready for next spring. So that's first out for now. The next one is the marigolds. These seeds are really weird shapes. They look like little wizened, I don't know what's. <laughs> Can you see that? So basically I just strip the seed heads similar let them dry out and then into a container in the garage for use next spring moving on from those seeds to this do you recognize that it's a pit from a cherry and you could plant that and hope it would grow but it would take a long time for that shell to break down so short circuiting that what I have done here if I can tip them into this saucer it would be easier I have the center of those pits, the actual seed. And I've seen people attack these with pliers. <laughs> I use the tried and tested technique. I put it on a chopping board, covered it with some kitchen foil and bashed it with a hammer. And it was a gentle bash as bashes go. So the seeds are whole. And then they've been in what was one of my grandma's egg cups, soaking in water for a day. I now have to kid these. I can't just pop them in a jar once they've dried. I want to keep these moist and get them to germinate. I've no idea, I've never done it at this time of the year, so we shall just have to see. So what I'm doing here, if I can turn the camera down a little bit more. There we are. There we are. Is putting them on a piece of kitchen roll. Just folding that over. Then Wrapping that in a piece of foil and 
and that now has to go into the fridge for a couple of weeks hopefully only a couple of weeks i will inspect regularly and just dampen the seeds not soak them through they've been having a good soak just give them a little dampening if they need it and as soon as they start to sprout then i can put them into compost so the next thing this is where I got my hands dirty before. I have three containers that I am going to put in water. And fill them with compost. Now the compost is out for now because it's my own. I have one, two, three, four, five four compost makers, three coal, one hot and one wormery. The wormery and the hot, they quite happily take food that has been cooked. But the cold ones, I never put cooked food in there. That's just for garden choppings or vegetable peelings, etc. And what's going in these? Da -da. avocado and they're slippery so they have been soaking for about a month now because you need to get to the point where they are beginning to crack beginning to open again you could go straight into the pots but that would take ages so I just kick-started the process into the pots, cover them with some more of my homemade compost. <laughs> Not sure what that is. And the reason for the, oh, as ever, a bit of eggshell. I do crunch up my eggshells really small before I put them in the composters. They can take ages and ages to break down. But they add calcium once they've done it, so sometimes they go through the system several times. Okay, so there we are. I'll now cover that with cling film and put it onto the window ledge in the conservatory keeping the base just damp so that's some of my out for now and before here's one I prepared earlier <laughs> oh a la blue peter I will just turn the camera around because before I came to do this, I was extracting these now. I have to move around myself because I can't see where the camera is. There we are. I had a few potatoes that were beginning to sprout quite a few weeks ago a bag of potatoes had been forgotten. I should imagine I'm the only person that ever does that, but uh, I wasn't very well and things gained on me. So these were grown. In. Plastic bag, it's actually I did buy some compost, but I've turned the bag inside out, filled it with my compost, put the potatoes in, cut slits in the side, and actually poked the shoots through there. And those few are from the first couple of trowels full. I've got that and another two sacks to empty. So that's it, done and dusted. 
I shall before it starts raining. Get all of these inside, finish taking the sweet pea seeds out, pop this into the fridge and get on with the rest of my day. Thank you for joining me. Take care. Bye. A little PS I forgot to say. With reference to the avocados, they really are a gift that keeps giving. I'm growing those seeds just for decorative plants. I've never tried to actually get avocados, but I might try and plant one up into a big pot in the greenhouse and see if I can. That would be good. But also the shells before they go into the composters, I like to sit with my elbows in them. They really do soften the elbow skin very nicely. And this is something that I used to say to mums and dads when I was doing hypnobirthing classes, encouraging them to eat healthily. And I would mention avocados <laughs> and then I would tell them about growing a plant and softening your elbows. At that point, they probably thought, and we're trusting her to tell us about birthing. Hmm. Okay. Right, it's starting to spit with rain, so I must dash. Bye.